out of the offense heading back onto the field. And he'll need to find a way to shrug off the opening drive, if you can even call it a drive. One play and an interception, so he's got to forget that. I know that in today's football, we have a good number of coaches who don't look at time of possession the way that the old school guys did. But there's still a place for it. I think that on this drive, after having thrown that interception, they're going to want to eat up a little bit more clock and run some offense and give their defense a little bit of a break. Prescott now from the 50. Again, it's Cooper as he makes the catch. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And Charles, you see the numbers for Amari Cooper last week. He took out some anger, some apparent anger against that defense. The yard just kept going up and up and up. Yeah, he was just running up and down the field doing whatever he wanted. By the end of the game, he was seeing two, sometimes three defenders on every snap. Yet he was still making play after play. It was like he was running routes versus air in practice. Now Elliott. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. One man in the backfield, that's Ellick. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Tucker with the extra point. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The pads at the line, ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. For Philly a week ago. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game, and I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one, but seven? That seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple, here's second and eight. Here's Wilson. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it.